So uh, my friend messaged me last night saying that she suddenly fell an emotional breakdown and really wanted to cry. She went to the rooftop to get some fresh air but loudly. Then someone came to the rooftop to collect the laundry. Uh, she was about to jump off the building to commit suicide. Then they call the landlord and uh, they ask her what was wrong with her and if she needed help. She said no. Then more people came and you know, like staring at her, make sure she wouldn't jump. Then people left for a while. She went back home after she calmed herself down. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I can I can relate because I have been feeling so anxious scared, nervous, insecure, and depressed for almost nine months. I feel like a um, complete failure, having messed up many things, and I don't think I deserve anything good. I'm literally nothing. I don't know why I exist. And why I am who I am. Contribute nothing to the society. Can offer emotional support to others. I fail to interact with people. Every day after waking up, so internally living without knowing what I am doing. Uh, walking dead, you know, just living for myself, exhausting me, been having headaches, and always feel nauseous, lost, and out of control. And I basically only share my true feelings with this friend because she's the only person I can rely on right now because, because we are going for the same thing. I feel like I can show my dark side to her. Though we have dangerous religious thoughts, we share them with each other. If that something must be said and went to auto. We only talk about negative topics and we always feel a bit relieved afterward. If she sent me a message, I will comfort and encourage her to do the same for me. She has even told me that she has had suicidal thoughts on the screen said it in a funny way. I really admire her courage to admit it. Whereas I don't have that. We are like two people suffering from the life's consequence shit and shift things, you know, helping each other. I have thought of so home. Honestly, I kind of enjoy in this going through the process of self destruction. I have only beaten my arm. I always quiet myself horse every night. <laughs> and I live with my friend. I was so scared that my crying will waker. I don't want anyone to find out. I would bind myself to avoid making noises. I was at home with my parents, so I still worry 
I'm like have one right here. So I try to um, control myself. This is a problem that has been troubling me for a very long time. I just can't stop crying. I would think of something during the day and start crying. Even while I'm driving at night before going to sleep, when I like it bad because I have the problem of insomnia, so I can't fall asleep. But then I start overthinking, like everything, including depressing memories, uh, like the they get to me every time I don't stop. I always wipe my tears with my blanket and I have to get up to blow my nose. If I calm myself down and stop crying, I'm crying again a few minutes later. I cry until my eyes are burning and hurting. Until my eyes, body, and soul scar get exhausted by year waiting for the pain to end and hope I can fall asleep soon. If I can fall asleep, I will have uh, endless nightmares. I have dreamed of being beaten, killed, raped, and chased by ghosts. I also have seen dream multiple times. It is so terrifying. So I don't know if we're lucky that I can fall asleep. So this has been my nightly experience for the past almost nine months. And now I'm very afraid of night four. You know? And there was one time I ate too much matcha and I couldn't fall asleep. And I cried nonstop for a few hours till 5 a.m. I fell asleep when the sun rose. And every time I'm done crying, my eyes are extremely swollen and painful. The next morning, and I'm scared of being seen by other people. And my mom saw my eyes once and asked me what's wrong. And I just said that I couldn't fall asleep. I haven't told my family about my current stay because I don't want them to worry. And I always pretend everything, you know, everything is fine, it's okay. I somewhat believe that if you pretend to be happy, eventually you will forget that you are pretending that you are truly happy. So I'm trying to do that. I forced myself to go out to eat and take walks with friends and family and I pretend to be very engaged. But the truth is I don't want to contact anyone. I really want to turn off my phone and hide away. Not just by myself. All, all alone. I feel like I'm still very withdrawn deep inside, and I have never truly connected with anyone. Uh, no one understands me except that friend I mentioned earlier. Enjoy my time alone, but sometimes when I'm alone, I feel like I overthink. 
to watch the troubles thing. Then my duty either what I buy is spring. I recall all the unpleasant things. I will think of something like anytime and anywhere and then I start crying without realizing it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly I really want to disappear like I never existed. And I know the world would be the same with or without me. As I have been trapped in anxiety and depression for months, uh, my mind is in chaos and my life is totally a mess. Uh, I realized I needed to save myself when I was still I was sitting in the office with tears streaming down my face I felt I needed to quit my job because I was in a very difficult period and needed to restore my normal life so the first thing I did First, go on trips. I went to a different city and a different Paris, and I also go traveling abroad with my friends for the first time. Uh, I spent some time booking hotels and flights and planning that itinerary, which made me feel like I have something to do. During the first of the trip, I feel mostly happy and fulfilled, but at night, I'm still tormented by memories and cry. And yeah, just cry. And after trips, I left the big city and temporarily returned to my hometown. A very small city. I went back to live with my parents. With my parents, after I am alone at home, with all the time to myself. This is the second thing I did to keep myself busy. There are many things to do, like reading. Uh, Watching movies and TV shows, uh, work out, cooking, and learning English. Because uh, someone told me that uh, uh, he had a language barrier with me. Yeah, I know the fact is my English is really bad. So I barely speak and talk too much in my videos. And when you have endless things to do, you can distract yourself from overthinking. When I cook, I can be very focused, uh, probably because cooking and eating is the lowest cost way to heal your soul. And I have spent more time observing the subtle things in life and all the little events that happen and I have found that not only can I discover the hidden beauty and happiness in life for this but, but it also enhances my observation skills and focus more, more importantly I can enjoy the process and learn to gain beneficial emotions such as joy, confidence, and tolerance from ordinary things. This helps in forming a healthy, you know, mental day and good living habits. We always feel anxious and confused sometimes but the key is not to be controlled by these feelings. Last and 
most important things that I do is to start making vlogs again. I started making videos about five years ago and I really like it. You can also invest in something that you like. I need to keep making videos because I feel my life is boring. What I feel is boring and I didn't know how to edit. And I started making video again. Right now, even though the content I make is uncreated, my editing skill is still cool and my English is very bad. As a non-native English speaker, making videos for an international platform is really hard for me, so I know no one watches my videos, but who cares? I I really don't care. How I made it chaotic stay and making walls made me feel no very involved. So for now I am making videos for myself. So why do I keep making videos that no one watches? If, if someday I'm no longer here yeah, I mean in real life at least part of me is just here, right? And when I'm getting old and my memory starts to fade the past me, the past me is still is just here. If someone in a similar situation, for instance, if you want to make videos, you can take action. You can take action right now. If you upload videos and find viewers or friends who resonate with you, that would be great. If not, it's okay. This is for you. Uh, my videos are about my daily life and not very creative because I'm just a very normal person, ordinary person. Not pretty, no special skills, not rich, and don't have a fancy life. But I enjoy it somehow. Making line into video clips is a very, it's a very romantic for me. Besides, this is an effective way to. Keep me away from interested panic, panic, and even depression. I have even thought about making a video cry with me because I can cry anytime, anywhere now. I'm a very sentimental person, even more than bad things. Happens, it magnifies all my other negative emotions. And I have been receiving bad news from the outside world. The world is chaotic. What's happening every day? People are dying, starving. Sometimes I feel sad seeing homeless person. And uh, there's nothing I can do. I don't know how to make the world better. I can only make myself better. And uh, this process is slow and long. I have posted a healing journey video and some travel vlogs, but that didn't heal me <laughs> completely. That didn't heal me at all. I don't know, it might take years. <laughs> I found that the more you ask for, the less you get. I know it's about things and maybe you lost someone, messed up a relationship, 
Oh, you chasing things that you have dream of for a bit of time. Uh, I feel like I have lost all what it was. People need to know their position and not have the illusions or pursue it successfully. And I am learning to be content with where I am. Sometimes the things just uh, and yours. Uh, most of the time, I still want to be alone. And I would love to stay in a corner, leaning against the wall, which gives me a sense of security. And everybody goes for temporary escaping my own life. And I continue to make videos documenting lives. Finally, I want to say just fly a little longer, my friend. This is a borrowed life from a song that I like so much. Yes, I will find you by Tori Kelly. And I want to say everything will be fine, will be okay. If a bit. As if a uh, week is too long for you, they take it one day at a time. And if a day is too long, they take hours at a time. And if hours is too long, they take a minute at a time. And I often joke about that if you we're unlucky, we might die tomorrow. So I care, give me the moment. When I'm old enough, I really want to live in the mountains or in the forest, alone in a small cabin with a few cats and dogs. Uh, of course, many books. Going vegetable, uh, no internet, no phone, uh, far away from the city. And if someone's like me, just stay with all of us. You know, you're worth it. Someone's, someone's out there cares about you. You know, I care about you. I'm not saying I'm trying. I'm not saying what I'm trying to do is suitable for everyone. If it's if it's really bad, please. If it's really bad, please seek professional help and uh, go see your uh, go see your therapist. I hope. I really hope. Everyone's day safe and healthy. Really, just stay healthy. Yeah, hold on a little longer. Okay, it's like I I am going to try to fall asleep. Uh, quite a little, and I know I will. I have stopped recording several times to wipe my tears. See. A few more seconds have passed. You did it. Bye.